This video goes over installing Linux for the first time. I'm gonna break it down into three parts for you. The first part, I'm gonna explain what version of Linux you should use starting off. The second part, the installation process, which I'll show through uh, actual install from creating the thumb drive all the way to boot up. And then basic configuration to get you started in using Linux for the first time. Okay, starting out, we need to download Ubuntu and you go to ubuntu.com forward slash download to download it. And then from this screen, we're gonna want Ubuntu desktop. From here, we download the LTS, otherwise known as long-term support. And you'll see that it's good till 2023. And by that time, you're probably gonna want to upgrade versions anyways. So it's a, just a great stable version that you will be using for probably the next five years or four years uh, because they'll have something else come up around that time. So this is the recommended system requirements. It will run with less, but I would recommend at least this in almost every system meets these requirements. So click download and download the ISO. Once that's done, you'll need to burn it onto a USB drive. I highly recommend Rufus, and I'm gonna leave both these in the, the description below. So if you're looking to download these, please check the description and you'll be able to download and do this. So download Rufus here. Um, you'll just go right here and download Rufus 3.3 and go. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch Rufus. All right. And we see Rufus is here. I already have a USB in there. Select the ISO. You'll see my images folder pull up. We want 1804 desktop. We hit OK to that. Select our label. All that looks good. And we click Start. OK. And this clears out all the tables, formats the drive, and makes this an Ubuntu USB. So from here, we'll take this USB, put it into our computer that we're gonna be putting Ubuntu desktop on today, and we'll load it up, and then I'm gonna continue this install from there. Okay, from here, we're gonna click Install Ubuntu. Then we're gonna select our language. And we also want to enable third-party software for graphics and additional drivers. And then we want to erase the entire disk because I don't have any other things on here. Hit continue. And this will wipe out all the data on there and put only Ubuntu. Select our time zone. And now select your login name and the computer name. Now choose the password and I'm gonna go ahead and select login automatically down here as well because I don't like to be prompt, prompted for that. However, for security purposes, you know, you may want to require a password. Okay, now that we've booted into Ubuntu, we have our system installed. Now we need to do a couple cleanup here and it'll actually teach you how to remove programs and also install them in an easy manner. So the only bit of sp spyware or you know, uh, reporting back to Ubuntu or Conical is its parent company, is the Amazon app. This reports usage on Amazon using this app. So uh, many Linux uh, snobs basically like to really knock Ubuntu for putting this in here, but hey, they gotta make a buck, so. Uh, and they make it super easy to get rid of it. So I just come into here, I go into installed, and then you just click remove and then it's gone. And that's literally the only piece where they're reporting back to home uh, on. So you hit remove. It may prompt me for a username and password. It didn't there, um, but if it does, just enter in the password you use during your setup. For installing new apps, it's just as easy. You just come here. You can put Discord, Spotify. 
here he's a great new uh, mail client. I've always knocked Linux for having kind of clunky mail clients like Thunderbird over here that it comes preloaded with that I'm not a big fan of. But Hurry is actually a paid uh, Outlook or paid mail client, but it's very, very pretty, and I do like it a lot. So that said, uh, this is basically how you'd install software. Now, there are a couple things that you may not be able to get through the store, and you'll end up using Terminal. And one quick tip when you're using Terminal you just hit Control Alt and T, and it'll pull it up automatically. So you don't have to actually search for it. It'll just go ahead and pop it up. And from here, when you want to install any kind of software, you'll be using something called APT or Aptitude. And this is an install package. So it's basically like running an install or setup program in Windows. Um, the easy way to do it is to download the program and from your browser, I'm actually going to close this out, but let's say you download um, Steam is probably a good example. We'll go ahead and open up our Firefox. And it actually has put it in package form for us, so this is actually not a good example. <laughs> uh, let's see what it does. Yeah, it's going to install just fine. So yeah, so Linux over the years have gotten a lot better with installing packages. It used to be you're always going to terminal and installing. And these days, as you see, I just went to the website. It already had it in a, a nice package for me that I could just click and open it up through their store. And Steam's already installed. How about that? That's, that's pretty awesome. So those are the two ways that I wanted to teach today as far as installing and uninstalling stuff in Ubuntu. This would be great to kind of get your feet wet and then actually just navigating the operating system is a little foreign to some people, but if you click the little dots down here, you can see some of the stuff. So this is what we've used frequently. If you go all, you'll see all the other packages that are on here. So we just installed Steam. I can go ahead, launch that, and it would update it. So sometimes it asks for root privileges, which is sudo, and you just go ahead and type your password, like you always have, and it goes through and installs whatever package it is. So that's it for the basis of Ubuntu. Um, let me know what you guys would like to see from an advanced configuration, but today I wanted to target this for beginners so you can get started and use Ubuntu uh, and get familiar with Linux, especially if you're coming from Windows.